that wasn't the you know our plan wasn't yeah. to call it a hiatus in in lieu of wanting to call it a, a breakup. It was you know was what it was. But I get it. I understand why people would interpret it the other way. Yeah. It's because it's, it's an aesthetically pleasing word. Hiatus. 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 Hi. Sounds very uh, very, very Latin. Yeah. yeah. Fallout. Boy! Yeah! In the first place, we didn't really mean to announce it or anything. It just kind of happened, you know. I mean, somebody asked what we were up to, and it's like, oh, not much, you know. And and that turns into they broke up, you know. And we're like, no, 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 we're on hiatus. They're on hiatus. They broke up, you know. And so, hey, what's up? We're Fallout Boy. So we're all standing around this fire, throwing records out there and and uh, taking photos. And it was kind of this really surreal moment because it was like this is our first act, public act as Fallout Boy in three years. And, and I'm not, it felt semi-legal. Hello fellow emos and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be diving back into the post hiatus Fallout Boy iceberg. This is the final installment of the series because today I'll be covering the final two layers. If you're not already subscribed then please do hit the subscribe button, I post new videos weekly. And as always, MCR5 2024, it is so real. It is so happening. You just gotta keep the faith. Let's go. Chris Evans' photo. Chris Evans' photo refers to a photo Andy posted on Instagram of him meeting Chris Evans. To all my fellow British emos, this refers to Captain America Chris Evans and not presenter Chris Evans. I'm not really sure why this is so far down the iceberg, um, but it was a cute moment. I love when celebrities are fangirls about other celebrities because it's like, wow, you're just like us. The stripper story. The stripper story refers to a story that Patrick told on the Save Rock and Roll tour. I'm just going to play the clip of it for you now. Uh, our sound guy and I have a running joke that I have family in every city. I have family here again. Hi, family. Um, <laughs> But secondly, secondly, so one of the last times I was in this venue, uh, it was my birthday, and uh, I have to go, <laughs> was my birthday, years ago. I have to let you guys know I'm a very uh, law-abiding kind of nerdy little guy, and so I've never, I've still never been to a strip club, right? I don't know. So on my birthday, uh, <laughs> the, the crew got a stripper and sent her back to the dressing room, like, to to surprise me, and I'm like too polite because I didn't, I don't want to like offend the lady, but I also don't want to like, I don't want to have the stripper around, whatever, I don't want to do the stripper thing, whatever. So I had no idea how to handle it, and I'm sitting there terrified in this backstage over here like, like, how do I ask her politely to stop and leave? And, uh, <laughs> and if you guys know Dirty, do you know Dirty? <laughs> so I get dirty, I actually am sitting there and I text Dirty from my phone while she's like kind of dancing. And uh, I text him like, can you please like ask her? I don't know, because he's been, I, I think he's been to a strip club, his name's Dirty, I would hope. Anyway, that was my big embarrassing birthday story. Here, that's what I think of when I think of. <laughs> anyway, I ramble. So I've never been a strip, strip club, but... Patrick Drink and Garlic Sauce. Patrick Drink and Garlic Sauce refers to... Any guesses? Yep, Patrick Drink and Garlic Sauce. This moment was captured on My Heart Will Always Be the B-Side to My Tongue DVD, um, which if you haven't watched, you need to. I will attempt to play the clip now. Hopefully it won't get claimed, but I may have to speed it up, unfortunately. Drinking garlic butter with the homies. <laughs> this one's for all the homies that didn't make it to the party. Pete's clone. Pete's clone refers to a Jimmy Kimmel live show they did in 2023 where Pete had clones. I'm going to attempt to insert the clip now and hope it doesn't get removed for copyright. Um, Fallout Boy claim everything and so does Jimmy Kimmel, so not great odds. Um, if it is allowed to stay, then it'll have to be sped up. Again, I'm so sorry. Only the Bulls. Only the Bulls refers to a remix slash cover Fallout Boy did of the Chicago Bulls theme song Only the Bulls with Lupe Fiasco. 
I'm not a basketball fan or I mean a sports fan in general, let's be honest, but I think it's so fun when bands do side quests. Like, yes, use your fame to do things that you want to do. I fully support that. Pete was kicked out of a furry convention. Pete was kicked out of a furry convention refers to, I mean, supposedly that time Pete was kicked out of a furry convention. Allegedly, of course. The source of this info comes from r slash furries, so make of that what you will. This was posted in 2014 to the sub. So Fall Out Boy was staying in the same hotel as our con Saturday night playing a local concert. It was a local festival put on by one of the local bro radio stations, so there was lots of tattooed, spiky head people there. I caught this guy coming out of the dance, obviously not a furry, with the switched out badge and go over and give the badge back to the right owners. Being staff, I went over and gave them a wagging finger and a polite request not to do such. Today I was in the car with my friend who is a huge Fall Out Boy fan and was looking through pics. Suddenly the guy came up and it hit me. I kicked Fall Out Boy of the furry convention dance. Just a little life moment in furry. I don't believe this happened for obvious reasons, but new dreams. New Dreams refers to a cover Fall Out Boy did of the Naked Ray Gun song, New Dreams, as a bonus track for Pack Sam Days. The cover is on YouTube if you haven't heard it, it's great and I highly recommend that you check it out. Joe Troman and Dan Avidan Joe Troman and Dan Avidan refers to the casting fans wanted for an imaginary biopic called Sugar We're Going Down. Dan Avidan is an internet personality known for Game Grumps and Ninja Sex Party, and yeah, I can see the similarities between the two looks-wise. Um, however, fans also wanted Ed Sheeran to play Patrick, so, you know, Patrick Lizard edits. Patrick Lizard edits refers to presumably edits of Patrick to make him look like a lizard. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a lot about this online, and I can't find any examples of the edits. However, most celebrities seem to get these edits at some point or another, so I mean it probably happened, I just can't show you any examples. The Andy Apparition The Andy Apparition is a play on the Warrior Apparition, and the Warrior Apparition is a creepypasta. So unfortunately the Andy Apparition doesn't exist, or at least to our knowledge, it doesn't. I mean, who's to say really if it exists or not, you know? Original version of Mania Original version of Mania refers to the fact that the album Mania was delayed due to the fact that the band were unhappy with it, and so they had to make changes. This means that the original version may be out there somewhere, and maybe one day we'll get to listen to it. When speaking about the original version, Patrick said on Twitter, The album just really isn't ready, and it felt very rushed. I'm never going to put a record out I generally don't believe is at least as strong or valid as the one that came before it. And in order to do that, we need a little bit more time to properly and carefully record solid performances. I personally am not too bothered about hearing the original version, just because if the band wanted it to be released, then it would have by now. It was scrapped for a reason, and so I think we should respect that, but if they decide to release it, then I'm obviously going to listen to it, but let's not search for it. And that's the end of the iceberg. Thank you so much if you made it this far into this video or if you watched the entire series. I definitely want to do more icebergs. I'll probably do the My Chemical Romance one next. I am a My Chemical Romance girly through and through. I just wanted to give some variety in my content when starting this account. If you have any requests for any icebergs that you'd like me to cover or just topics in general, then please let me know down below. And as always, I'll see you next week. Thank you.